So hello guys, welcome to show you how you can actually use Canva to create a website and yes, a website, be it a website like e-commerce, right? Meanwhile, I've actually made a video how you can create a website for free. So if you visit my channel, you can actually watch how to create a free e-commerce store. Yes, it's free. Okay, so go there and learn how to create e-commerce store. But if you would prefer using Canva, then sit back, relax, because I'm going to show you how to use it. Okay, so if you're going to use Canva to build a website, first of all, I recommend you use a laptop. So I don't know if you can use the Canva app to view that. I've not tried it. Okay. But first of all, you need to use the website. And of course, you need to register, have an account with Canva. Okay. So if you want to start, the first thing you need to do is to go to the search button of Canva and type website. So you will see website, you see BioLink website, and you will see mobile free website plus a new one introduced website offshore campaign. So all these websites are different, okay? So we're going to, we're actually looking for a kind of website that is mobile first because most time people use mobile to visit web, their website, right? So what you're going to do, you click the mobile first website. But if you decide to go for this first one, the website is going to be beautiful, but when it's viewed on mobile, it might not really be you know, user friendly, okay? So instead, we'll go for the one that is mobile first website. So you click it. So when you choose mobile first websites, you'll be find different templates, web designs, different templates. You can choose by team, pitch deck, start a book of 19, you can go choose style, Okay, or decide to use the ones for free. Okay, so we're going to look at the free ones. Okay, so all those ones are free, but you can also see paid. Now paid because some elements used in it are paid ones. So it's either you open it, you change the elements. Okay, so I'm going, to, I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm going to use this one tiny restaurant, okay. So with the tiny restaurants, you have five pages, as you can see. This is the first page, the second page, the third page, the fourth page, and the fifth page. Okay. So if, for example, now let's say, for example, it has been edited, right? It has been edited. Like this is my design, I've done everything. Okay, so if you want to publish it, you click publish. So there are three or four ways you can publish this. You can publish it as a presentation or scrolling or classic navigation or standard. So we're going to be looking at this first type. So when your site is in form of presentation, this is how it's going to look. Obviously, if you are using your mobile to look at it, it's going to look better than if it's showing on desktop. So this shows in form of presentation. Okay. So the next one is in form of scrolling. As you can see, you can scroll by using your desktop. Sorry, using your mobile phone. You can just scroll and view your Sites classic navigation, so you see it's super like the mobile, the regular mobile store. Okay, so here you have your home page, our story, right? Our story, our menu, review. This is your order. The last one should be the standard. The standard would be the normal one page story link to your menu. As you can see, links to the menu, links to review, links to place order. 
you click our story, it moves up to that piece. If you click in the view, it moves to the area view piece. Okay, so you can literally create your page in a frame form. So what if you want to create a page, you can actually receive payments using this camera. So let me show you how that can be done. So let's say, for example, this name, we want to add a link so that we can easily, people can easily pay directly from the sites, okay? Because as it is now, people cannot pay directly. So if you want to make it such a way that people can click link and pay directly, you can do this. So I'm going to use this menu, for instance. So let me expand it, because I want to add a button there. So good. So let's say, for example, um, we added a buy button just like this. Is I think this would be bigger. So if you want to do now, try to reduce the size. Okay. So if you want to add a buy button that people can really click and buy your product directly. Okay. So what you need to do is to create a page. pitch. So if you are based in Nigeria, we use site like Facebook, right? We use Lot away. So if you're using paper, I'm sure you have a product page with you. So you create a product page first of all. So for instance, I've created this. This is a product page. Let me show you how it looks. So here's how the product page looks, right? So nothing flashy, just something simple. Where people can easily, whoever is interested, can just click buy. Person can put in if it's a gift, person can put in the new address, and then click on your regular buying button. Okay. So, what we're going to do, we're going to copy the link right to your site page. Okay, you go to this buy now button, you click this three arrow, you're looking for link, click link, you add your product link, apply. So what it means is you can actually also make it associated with that any place you click, there will be a link. So at least because you don't know what your customers are going to click. So you click this, apply this, maybe the product name, so click apply. Okay, so now when they click the product name, I think maybe also add the price, you link to the price now as well. Well, so I'm not sure if you need to add as much link as I did, but you, know, you get it real. Just you know, walk around with it. So now other links in this. So whichever one they pick, they are going to like it's going to be direct into the product page where they can make payment with it. So we're going to look at how it's going to look on mobile. All right. Okay, so when you use the presentation format, this is how the website is going to look. Like you can screw, okay. As you can see, it's more like presentation. You can click expand to expand it. If you want to view, as you can see, right? Then there's on that tab on that which is you can click it and it helps you to pick whichever page you want to view. Maybe you want to view the review, as you can see. So this is one style of the website so the second one is the scrolling style of the website so with this one you can literally scroll down to view the website as you can see you can scroll down and view the website right so this is called the scrolling style. all right it is the classic navigation so it's just like your normal website that has menu if you click about our story it takes you to our story click our menu it takes you to our menu you click review it takes you to review like that okay last time is the standard style where it's actually scroll but it's a one page scroll that has menu so whenever you click any part of the menu it moves to where menu is okay let's check um our link so this is where i added the link so here's how it works if for example now your customer visits your site and decide to purchase directly from your website they can click buy now Okay, another page open which is that link you added okay it takes them to 
your payment system sites where they can decide to you now purchase click to purchase a product add their delivery address the shipping then continue so with that we've actually created an e-commerce website using canva okay so if you love this video please subscribe give me a thumbs up and share thank you and see you in my next video